Hello, my friends. My name is Meko, and after converting my basic car into a house, I'm taking off for an adventure, living close to nature, in between the patches of civilization, for as long as it doesn't piss me off. Oh, this is so stupid. This is going to be a weird night. The only place I found is this campground for RVs. So, oh my god, it's so noisy. <laughs> I'm the only one with the car. Because I'm the last one to arrive at the end of the day. I have the most doomed spot. Look at these guys. Look at these professionals. They install like this in the sun. And I'm just here. Near the toilet. <laughs> but let's go explore this catastrophe I find myself in. <sighs> this is almost so nice. <laughs> Look. Uh, we're only staying here one night. Tomorrow I'm getting the f*** out. Oh, this is a really beautiful place, apart from the human infestation. Look at this. Look at this. If there was no human infestation, we really need to stop letting humans reproduce, huh? This is amazing. It's interesting because while being there, I could hear the conversations of everyone because I spend a lot of time outside. And uh, a lot of people are talking about the difficulty when you have an RV, a big van or camping car to find spots outside of uh, campgrounds. It just makes me think that uh, the car, well, it's very inconvenient for many reasons, mostly because it's so small. But one advantage of the car is that it's way easier. You can find places to park way more discreetly and stay a bit more wherever you want than an RV. Uh, even the police will notice it. And uh, if you're not where you're supposed to be in a designated RV spot, you're going to get in trouble. So yeah, not bad, the car house. It's very small and everyone is like, Oh, really? You're going to live in the car, man? You should get the van. Yeah, but living in a car, you live everywhere. <laughs> it's weird because they're all talking together, but they're all talking about themselves. There's no exchange. They're not listening to what each other are saying. It's only, um, I'm refilling the water today because I don't know where I'm going to end up. But, uh, yeah, my region is a bit droughty these days. Not a lot of water to find. Uh, I don't know, you know, I'm more of a mountain person, you know. Yeah, so I have 50 liters of water to fill up. Um, yeah, my region is quite beautiful in any way, but there's no lakes. I have to be careful not to become like these people. They all have a box to store all their crap. So they come here and they empty it. And he's saying, yeah, there must prob <laughs> probably not a lot of crap because, oh, God. How disgusting. I wanted to fill up my water here at this water point, but now seeing that everyone is emptying their crap at this point the whole day, I feel that just even the water has to be contaminated somehow. Shit. Okay, it's 11 in the morning. I've been hearing people talking about themselves since I woke up. So it's time to get out of this shit zone.